Hey everybody, this is Nance Juice with A5 and welcome back to Shadow at the Water's Edge. Uh, right now we're in Mimi's apartment to pick up her bento boxes, but also we're just over here and kind of explore here and see if we can figure out why she resents the Ryokan so much that she actually has a very pink and small apartment. Let's pick, let's pick up these bento boxes and you can tell she's got a very tiny apartment. Let's look over here. Definitely very pink and interesting outfit she's got. Oops, and I hit the wrong thing. Over here. Let's look at book and see what these are. These are dyes. Interesting. We have... Hmm, what's this? Hmm, a DVD. No label. Okay. Let's take a look over here. Hmm. It's very interesting things. Okay, let's see what this is. This is a hotspot. Hmm. It looks like we need a combination of this, so we can't quite do, work, do this now. So we'll put this back and let's see what this is. It's a very English letter. Dear Marianne, as usual, these letters are piling up and I haven't made it to the post office. It was great to see you during your visit. Hurry back soon. I know I promised to make it with my way over to the States, but life always has other plans. Hmm, interesting. The girls are keeping me busy and the Ryokan is double booked as usual. Yumi wanted me to tell you that she had a nice time during your visit. Although it would be hard to tell with her pouting for the cheap seats the whole time. She had me walk on each other's throats lately. It's ugly. I hope it's a phase. But I am beginning to worry that it might not be. Ben and Cassie are such good friends, and I wish I knew your secret. They're so different, you know. They reminded me of you and me when we were kids. You were always so serious, and I was always doing my best to get you into trouble. I think that's what made us such good friends, but for the two of them, it's always a battle. Enough of that. Send my love to the family. Can't wait to see you again. Susu Kasumi. Now, Kasumi is the name of uh, their of uh, Yumi and Moako's mother. So it looks like her mother was planning to make a trip to the States, but apparently something happened that prevented that. And Yumi and Moako didn't uh, get along. Now, now look at this book that I know is on the bed earlier I just picked up. Unveiling Ghosts. Paranormal Investigation from Around the World. Savannah Woodham. Now this is the same person who gave that certificate. To the Shimizu family, your hospitality during this difficult time must has been immeasurable. Thank you for allowing me into your home and lives. If you're finding yourself in the state of Georgia, you've got a place to stay. So stay Savannah Woodham. So, so let's see what this ghost book's about. Savannah Woodham is the author of this book. You should hang on to this. Having your phone Now, thankfully, her number will automatically be added into your phone. This is what we have here. Introduction. Let's see. Well, wait, look at this. Chapter 6, Ryokan Hiei. Let's take a look. Like now, seeing that this is Chapter 5 over here, and the over, and obviously the other one's Chapter 7, uh, it's obvious that Chapter 6 has been torn down. That happens to be the one about the Ryokan Hiei. Hmm. What's this? Oh, you just open and close the window. Okay. Nothing real special there. I feel like I'm forgetting something. Hmm. Well, before we go do anything else, let's call Miss Savannah Woodham. Let's see. Like I said, her number's automatically added when you get it. Can I speak to Savannah Woodham, please? Are you one of our interviews? Interviews? I'm Savannah Woodham's assistant. Is she interviewing you about the expo? No, I actually want to speak to Savannah about a book she wrote. Oh, great. I'm so glad you called. Really? Why is that? It's been like three days since I've gotten to hang up on anyone. I wonder if I'm still good at it. And he hung up on us. Let's try it one more time. 
Excuse me. Did you just hang up on me? Oh, absolutely. Between you and me, it was awesome. In fact. Okay, she hung up on me again. Well, he hung up on me again. So it looks like we're not going to be able to call him. So let's call our best friend and see if they can do something about it. Hi, Nancy. What's up? How's it's the best. Yumi's been showing me some of the coolest parts of town. The fashion here is crazy. Yumi took me to a store. I don't even know how to describe this place. It was pink. Really, really pink. It had the pink version of everything you could imagine. I'm not surprised. Neither was I, but I was a little horrified. But then she took us to see the Gion district. So cool. She was a little grumpy that we wanted to see some traditional plays, but I think she had fun anyway. Oh, I feel like I forgot something, but... I did forget something. What do you guys think of Yumi? She's so much fun. A little pushy sometimes, but I feel like I've known her for years and we've just met. She seems to really dislike the Ryokan. Do you think she'd want to see it closed down? Well, I can't say for sure. She does really seem to resent that place, but I'm not sure if she'd go as far as trying to get it shut down. I don't know. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Hmm. Interesting. Okay. I did forget something, so let me come back over here, because I noticed this, I just didn't pick it up. One, put the DVD in. So, what's on this? Uh... Okay, that what that was is just plain creepy whatever that was. Okay, so this is her computer. Oh, uh, looks like it's uh password code block color code blocked. So we're gonna need the password in order to get in. Let's see, make your own shadow puppets. Hmm. So, Yumi has a book about how to make shadow puppets. Interesting. Yeah, there was a small sound blip earlier. I do apologize for that. I think the game just uh, skipped the dialogue for some reason. Alright, let's call our friends back again. Before I forget. Because this is actually imp very important. found a strange book about ghosts in Yumi's apartment with a note from the author. It had a dedication from the author, Savannah Woodham, to the Shimizu family. But the really weird thing is, there's a chapter missing. What was in the missing chapter? Uh, no, strike that. That is a dumb question. That's pretty strange. Maybe you can find another copy of the book somewhere. There's a business card with the author's number inside. But more importantly, the table of contents says the missing chapter was about the Ryokan. Weird. Did you call? I called Savannah, but she's got a really protective assistant. Yeah? Apparently, she's in Kyoto now, covering the expo for some tech magazine. So she's pretty busy. If I could get past her assistant, I could finally figure out what this whole book is about. Wait, so this guy is at the expo? Pretty sure. Then we've got this one. We do? Yep. We're going to find them, and you're going to flirt up a distraction. I am? Yes, you are. Well, at the very least, this will be interesting. And if it's a mortifying failure or anything, which it might be, we do live thousands of miles away. Solid point. We'll keep you updated. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye! Now, th this is where having the best in is very, very essential, is that sometimes they'll get progress that they alone can only do. So, best in is going to find our Savannah and Logan and distract Logan to God knows what end. So, we can't do anything much more here, so let's head back to the Kurtime Station and get the bento boxes to Yumi.
And since we've already made a path there, we don't need to do that whole figuring out with Go. It's now fast travel, which is helpful. Now I'm going to say this, be mindful of your time, because if Yumi's not here, you're going to have to go back to Ryokan and reset time, and change the time back. And here we go. Nancy! And you've got my boxes. Neat! Here, I've got a thing for you. It's a phone charm. You can't not have one. You cannot have, have one. Thanks. What's it do? Come to think of it, it doesn't really do anything. Get a job, phone charm. It probably won't. That's okay, just hang it on your phone. I've got tons. Help me with bento and I'll hook you up with some super cute ones. Try to exhaust all your options. I love the picture of George. Thanks. Cause there's something I do have to check later. Love that last picture of Thanks. Love that last picture. <laughs> Hmm, let's see. Love that last picture you sent. I know, isn't that one great? I watched that DVD at your place. It was very strange. You did what? Shouldn't I have? Oh no, I'm sorry, Yumi. I'm sure it'll be fine. Just be very cautious. What do you mean? You have to be cautious about everything here, Nancy. That's not ominous or anything. Let's see. Hmm. hmm. Your outfit is very interesting. Where did you get it? Get it? Oh, you cannot get something this cool in a store. I made it. You make your own clothes? Yeah, I got sick of waiting for the boutiques to catch up to me. The places I go around here, fashion is the business. You don't show up looking out of date. Oh, I've got the best thing. You gotta have it. I use it to come up with all of my new ideas. Oh, what's that? It's a program for your phone. You upload pictures to the computer and send them to your phone. It lets you test out a new look on you or your friends. It's back at my place on the computer. Sounds great. I don't usually have time to keep up with the latest fa- I could sort of tell, but I wasn't sure if you were going for an irony thing with your outfit. Hey! Just teasing. You pull off the old school thing, Nancy Drew. Some things don't go out of style. If you help me out with a little more bento right now, I'll hook you up with the program. Come on! Alright. Bento round two. Now this is a little easier because we have actually the full square. Or is it going to be easy? So, let's see. We know that sandwich goes here, rice here, a bunny here, and we know a berry goes there. That's at least a start. Hmm. But the train free where the rest is goes going to be a little tricky. Hmm. We, we know that goes there. Berry goes there. Let's see. We need a rabbit and egg. Hmm, egg and a bear sandwich and just a bear. Well, that was fits this whole bottom row, so let's try this whole bottom row. Let's see, and what's next? Well, six ones and six squares. Let's see, that one has rice at two angles, a cat in the middle. Let's see, a bunny's gotta be at the end. That could be that one side, and we have a corner to fill in. Hmm. So you can put two rice here, and the cat sandwich goes there. If that works. Okay, then the two mines gotta go somewhere because they gotta be on top of each other. Let's put this here. Okay, put the rice there. Let's see, sandwich has to go there. And a rabbit ha oh. Wait. If the cat sandwich has to go there, then No. 
Okay, that didn't swap. Phew, it's busy here today. Great job. Here you go, Nancy. Alright. Now I'm going to hmm. I really like your apartment. You do? Thanks. It's just a 1K. That's code around here for tiny and overpriced. But the location is great and it's mine. I love it. When did you move out of the Ryokan? The second I was old enough to sign a lease. Best decision I've ever made. No late night room service. No annoying tourists calling up at four in the morning. I adore that apartment. I wonder if it knows. I'm going to get it something nice today. A new doormat or something. <laughs> Hmm. Why do you have a book on shop? Oh, that's Miwako's. It shouldn't be in my apartment. It's just a stupid book about puppets. It's just another one of the things that my grandmother is trying to always push on us. Could you use something like this to make spooky shadows from far away? Say, a balcony? Yeah, I guess. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hey everybody, I had to step away for a second, so let's get back into talking to Yumi about Hi. what's going on at the Ryokan. Let's see. I found Savannah's ghost book in your apartment. Can you tell me more about that? She's some sort of ghost hunter or something. I don't know much about it, okay? But she did a chapter on the Ryokan. Yeah, well, just because my grandmother believes in that junk do doesn't mean I do. <laughs> Remember, doing the translate the articles, uh. Can you tell me a little bit about what happened with your mother? This is not the time or the place. Is there a better time? Maybe when you're not at work? <sighs> There's never going to be a time or place. Just drop it. As I was saying, don't do translate article because that's in the game more, but hmm, Yumi is still very, very sour about the Ryokan and very sour about what happened to her mother. Let's head back to her apartment. Like I say, sometimes you need to be very mindful of your time. Because if Yumi's not there, then you can't get to her apartment. Hmm? What's this? Come on. Alright, it looks like uh, Bess and George did their job, so now we can actually get talk to Savannah. Let's see, what was I going to do? Ah, never mind. Okay, now, let's call Savannah. Nope, wrong. Oops, there we go. Is this Savannah Woodham? Let me guess. You're that Nancy girl who's been driving my assistant to distraction back this last week? Well, I wouldn't exactly say that. I would. Now tell me what's so important that y'all ruined my perfectly good assistant. Since y'all been calling around, talking to him's been like talking to a rock. A rock that I pay too much money. I'm staying at the Rio Con Hie. Something really strange is going on here. Don't tell me a lie now. This is a joke. No, I promise. It's the truth. I saw your book. I thought maybe you could help. Honey, whoever you are, my best advice to you is to pack your bags and head back to wherever it is y'all come from. I'm not leaving until I figure out what's really going on here. <sighs> there gonna be anything I can say that'll change your mind now? No, I'm going to get to the bottom of this with or without you. But I could really use your help. I've been a lot of places Nothing too useful. Uh-huh. Tell you what. You end up following through with that bad idea of yours to stay at the Rio Can, and I'll see what help I can provide. But Nancy? What's that? Y'all be careful there now. You understand me? I will. Hmm. 
I think I ran across a trick mirror here. Did it break? Yeah, how did you know? That's how you know it's a trick. Y'all know what the main difference between truth and illusion is in my long world? What's that? Time. An illusion can only last so long before it gives up its secrets. Now, I don't know exactly how that mill was fixed, but the fact that it broke means that whoever rigged it knew that if you examined it enough, you... So, it was broken, so I couldn't figure out how it was faked. Exactly. That is, if it was a trick. Nancy, I can tell you how things might be faked, but I can't tell you if they were faked. You're the one's got to stand there and know how the room feels when these things happen. I saw a really creepy, shadowy figure on my balcony. Do you think that could be faked? Cough. Ain't nothing hard than that. Yeah? It's as easy as shadow puppet. All you need to be able to do is practice. In my experience, people like scaring people with shadows a lot more than ghosts do. Way I see it, if it's something a person could plausibly do, then there's a person behind it. If it's something a person can't do that's scaring you, well, y'all don't need me to finish that sense. Hmm. Can you tell me about the certificate you gave the Shimizu family? Oh, yeah, that. Now, before you go thinking I'm some sort of charlatan, I don't normally do things like that. In fact, I had those made up to give the kids who were feeling too scared to go to sleep at night. Why did you leave one here? I felt like I should leave them something. I don't usually leave a place without knowing what's really going on there. Honestly, I felt so bad about the whole situation. Hmm. Can you help me translate an article I found? No one else is willing to. Hmm, sure. Leave it at the cannon and I'll have Logan swing by to pick it up. What's the story with your assistant, Logan? He's like my own little Georgia Bulldog. He can be a little aggressive sometimes, a little dopey at others, but always loyal. He's one of the good ones when you get right down to it. How long has he been working for you? Not long now. He started right after I switched my focus to tech reporting. Why did you change careers? It's a long story, but chasing's not the safest career there is. Ain't nothing shocking in that. Do you know where I can get a copy of your book? I'm guessing you're looking for the ghost hunting book I wrote, but I can't help you there. I'm out of copies myself. To be honest, Nancy, I don't mind helping you. But this whole ghost thing is a phase I'd sooner put behind me. Why is that? Now, don't y'all worry about that now. Just a choice I made. There must be some reason. I understand you were pretty well known. Put it this way, Nancy. There are some jobs where being well known makes both dangerous laugh. Sometimes it's uh, smart to move on. I'll let you go. Bye now. Okay, so Savannah's giving us a little bit of help. Now, what's this? Hmm. Oh. I think this is an Easter egg from watching that DVD, honestly, so, <laughs> and Ozzy, funny. <sighs> okay, let's try to get, use this avatar program that Yumi gave us a password for. So let me for that particular outline. Let's see if I, I don't know if I can fight it the first try. <sighs> Excuse me. Okay, I should be noted, I never get things like that on the first try, so let's do some... Uh... Scary avatar making. Now, let's see. You have about nine pictures you can do, so let's start with one. Oh, hang on. Let's see. No. Let's do. We're making best first, just so people know. Let's see these different outfits. Mm. <laughs> Very young, interesting outfits. Here we go. Mm. And that and hmm, some interesting uh, choices. 
We're going to make one for each of our contacts. So right now, including ourselves, we have about five contacts. And we'll put Nancy's number in here when we're done. So next is going to be George. And she's got dark hair, dark and short. And she's tomboyish, so... That works. <laughs> okay, we still have all. We might as well do one for Yumi and Savannah, too. So let's get going on. Savannah, you can kind of make up by yourself because we actually never met. You won't meet her pers in person. Ah, you gotta change that, then that. Okay. Hmm. Uh, nah. Hmm. Definitely at least they have a selection of mix and match wear. Well, that looks like it works fine. Okay, now let's do one for Yumi. That. Let's go with that. Brown. Yeah, that's the closest to what her hair kind of looks like. Oops. Uh, I say that fits her because it's pink. Really, really pink. Okay, and now. We technically have one more, and that's going to be us. Now, in some of the books, Nancy's been described as a redhead, so... Hence why I'm picking this uh, design. No, okay, that is actually is perfect. Now, you be said we can up these to your phone, so we need, obviously, Nancy's phone number. Go to options, and here's phone. Right number right there. So, we are looking for 523-555-4399. Now, all of these should be sent up to your phone. Okay. Logan here. Yes? All right. Savannah wants me to translate that article for you. I don't know what it is you said to her, but whatever you did to get her to talk about that paranormal garbage, you need to knock it off. I can't promise that. You really don't get it, do you? This ghost stuff isn't a joke, especially not to her. Since I'm the one stuck picking up the pieces after she gets too wrapped up in one of her cases, I'm telling you, leave it alone for her sake. And yours. Hmm, no wonder he's protective. What happened to Savannah? Why doesn't she work with paranormal cases? It's not something she likes to talk about. I gathered that, but can you tell me? When we're traveling, I spend weeks with her just touring on buses, long plane flights. We talk a lot. I know everything about her childhood. Her best friend's dog's name from when she was five. Her favorite ice cream flavor. She's very chatty. Then, what has she told you about? Nothing. Not a single word. I've asked, and when I do, she just goes quiet and excuses herself. She's never told me to stop bugging her about it, but I can tell that she wants to. That's why I don't want you bothering her about it either. Whatever happened when she was writing the second ghost book, it really got to her. Second ghost book? Wasn't supposed to mention that. It's a secret, and it's not done, so don't think you're going to get your hands on it. I don't even know if she still has the manuscript. She had me tell her publisher she burned it, but I don't know if that's the truth. Interesting, and I know I said that at the same time she does, I usually don't do that, but... Hmm, so something kept her from doing... I really need a copy of Savannah's book. Can you help me? Sure. Bookstores are a great start. Or the internet is helpful, but I'm really more of a brick-and-mortar person, honestly. I suppose you could also go the books on tape route. 
TV's Ralston Palpers does an excellent job with the text. Really makes it come alive. No, I meant, could you send me a copy? Oh, nope. But thank you for asking. Mm. How long have you been working for Savannah? Started a few years back as a fill-in gig during spring break. Eventually, she needed a long-term assistant, and the job was just too weird to turn down. Bye. See you later. Hmm? No. Oh, what are we getting? Oh, that's just, uh, you know, when those automated texts saying, Oh, yeah, because thank you for doing X, Y, Z. So now let's put our images together. So, as I was saying, so something spooked Savannah to stop doing ghost stuff anymore. But we still kind of need her help to get through this last case at the Ryokan. But we really need to know what that last chapter about. And I'm going to safely assume again that last chapter is not going to be easy. Alright. I believe that's all we can do here. So let's head back to the Ryokan. As I said, we're fast, gonna fast travel. Wow, hear that music change. I have a delivery for you. Here. Ah. Let's see. Let's go with this one. I'm sorry. The mirror broke when I was in the baths. But before it broke, I saw the image of a woman who wasn't in the room with me. Don't worry, Nancy. I'm sure it was nothing. I have Lentalo take care of it right away. Until then, please stay away. I don't want you to get hurt. But I saw something. I'm sure of it. You work too hard, Nancy-san. Up too late, off to teach so early, you must rest more. Your judgment suffers if you do not get enough rest. I know what I saw. Nancy-san, please. I have to ask you to let me get back to work. Okay, so Miwaka will automatically just dismiss of ghostly happening. So let's head back to the room and get an envelope so we can drop off that article to Logan. Uh, um... Okay, someone really does not want us here anymore. Four is supposed to be an unlucky number here. I wonder if that's a coincidence. Hmm. Someone removed the two from our door, so our door number is going would be four, which, like Nan said, unlucky. So let's at least get an envelope. Let's see. Ah, here we go. And now we gotta do is drop this off at the front desk. So, yeah, someone's losing. So now someone's trying to scare Nancy off, and that's not gonna happen. Excuse me. Oh no! It sounds like another unhappy customer. I should listen to what's going on. When we first walked in the door, my wife told me she had a bad feeling about this place, but now I told her she was being unreasonable. I'm not putting up with it anymore. That thing you left in our room. No one should ever see something like that. I want my money back. There was nothing there. And I want to see this place closed down. You'd never get away with something like this in Sydney. Sir, please, we are not haunted. Oh, please yourself. Ooh, that was not good. <laughs> Uh, looks like we're the only ones here, so let's talk to Miwako. That was the last customer, wasn't it? Yes, Nancy. It's just you. <laughs> so, make yourself comfortable. We are all here for you until something happens to scare you off, too. I don't scare easily. I've heard that before. Look, I'm sorry I shouldn't be upsetting you with all of this. Please. You're my only guest left. Let me at least make sure you have a good trip. Maybe you recommend us to your friends. I still want to help. Help? You want to help? Look around you. This place is beyond help. It was spooky and lonely before... Everything that happened happened. And now... 
Why do you think Yumi got out of this place as soon as she could? People come because they've heard it's haunted. They come here to be scared and even they can't take it. I'm sorry, Nancy. There's nothing you can do here. Help yourself and find somewhere safer to stay. Come back later. Okay, we're going we're not gonna be able to talk to Miwako right away, so I would just suggest, you know, walk around the garden a little bit. You know, sometimes give a, I call it, cool down period until you can talk to them again. Because you gotta get that article off to Logan. So, at least have him dropped off at the desk. So, let's try this again. I should get to work now. I should get to work now. Hmm. Okay, this is being a little extra stubborn. Yeah, here we go. Can I leave this here to be... Yes. Thanks. Do you want to manage... Right now, I have to. But it's not that simple. Why not? It just isn't. Hi. From what I understand, the Ryokan has quite the reputation for being haunted. It is true that we have the reputation. Has that been difficult for business? It is nothing you need to concern yourself over. Can you think of anyone who would stand to gain if the Ryokan went out of business? No one I know. We all depend upon the Ryokan. Even Yumi and Lentaro. What about someone else on the outside? No. There's no one else. Hmm. Interesting. How does your grandmother feel about the Ryokan? It's her whole world. She loves it more than anything or anyone she's ever met. What does she think of Yumi not working here? It's a very sore subject for her. And honestly, I've heard too much about it already. What do you mean? Every day I'm here, making sure all is well. It would just be nice to hear her at least mention all of the work I do. Just once. I'm sorry this is nothing you want to hear about. Hmm. Do you think Yumi is ever going to come back here to run the Ryokan? If she knows what's good for her. Why doesn't Yumi work here at the Ryokan? She's very... My mother used to call her a free spirit. But that's a nice way of saying that Yumi's selfish and doesn't want to help. Do you and Yumi get along? No. Hmm. How long have you been fighting? I'm not sure, but she probably picked a fight with me the day I was born. Did you and Yumi ever get along? Of course, but really. She really... She was a very good big sister to have after what happened with our mother. But soon enough, she was back to being the selfish, manipulated brat she is today. Hmm. Well, it looks like these two did not get along that much. She does seem a little demanding. Not demanding. Manipulative and bratty. Trust me, I've thought this one through. I saw a certificate certifying that the Ryokan was cleansed of all ghosts and spirits. Can you tell me about- What? That's no offense, but that seems sort of silly. A certificate? So you don't know anything about it? No. And where exactly did you find this certif- Behind the portrait I helped Rentaro repair. Maybe you should stay away from what isn't yours. And maybe he should have the sense to know what is a family matter. I have to get back to work now. Okay, so we exhausted all our options with her. So, let's take a look at this puzzle that George sent us. And, oh, it's a Sudoku puzzle, huh? So let's see wow, what this... Wow, George wasn't kidding. This does look hard. Whoa, I've done Sudoku puzzles in the past. I've never seen one like this before. Okay, so... 
Um, I'm going to end the episode here. We're going to pick back up. We're going to tackle this Sudoku puzzle. And hopefully it doesn't take me 20 minutes to do so. Uh, and I, Well, that's it for now. I really hope you enjoyed um, this part. I'm sorry for the dialogue clipping that the game did that. I have no control over that. So, I'll see you on the next one. See ya! Thank you.